We've searched the internet and saw what have you accidentally conditioned your pet to do? And here are their cute and mushy responses. First, our cat had impacted anal glands for a while. We had to bribe him with treats for him to let us look to make sure he was doing all right. Now when he wants a treat he comes up and sticks his butt in our face. Second, when I was little I would constantly carry around one of my cats, Feist. Since my hands were full with her I would use one of her outstretched paws to turn on lights whenever we entered a room. Now the little bastard switches them on and off for fun. Third, my niece loves to FaceTime my mom to talk to her dog. When the dog was a puppy, my mom used to pull her onto her lap when she would get FaceTimed. Now the dog is 80 pounds and will jump in your lap if your phone or tablet starts making the default FaceTime ring. Fourth, I would play fully grab, not hard, really light, my dog's snout whenever we're playing. He somehow figured out it's my favorite thing to do whenever he comes over to me. So now, every time he senses that I'm upset or sees that I'm crying, he would come up to me and gently put his snout in my hand. Fifth, I picked my kitten up a few times to kill some spiders up high for me. So now whenever I pick her up she looks up at the ceiling and looks for spiders. Number six, I take baths with my cat by letting her float in a plastic box. I keep the box in my closet. I only started doing this about a month ago, but now when I turn the bath water on she runs to the closet and jumps in her box. Seventh, somewhere along the way, my dog learned get your toy means to pick up his nearest toy. I didn't purposely train him to do it. But it's good for when he's about to leave one of them outside and I want him to bring it in. If there's no toy around and I say this he'll grab the nearest soft thing, usually some piece of clothing laying around. One time he tried to pick up the cat. Number 8. Every morning when I wake up I rub my dog's belly. Now whenever I say good morning she will lay on her back for belly scratches. Number 9. My dog knew he would always get some ice to chew when I went to the fridge so any time he heard the ice machine on the fridge start he would come running in. Once he became deaf he would feel the vibrations in the floor from it and knew it was ice time. Tenth, I conditioned my cats to use the scratching post with treats and pets and lots of good boy, good boy. For the last seven years, whenever I have to tell my one cat to stop chewing on something or anything like that, he goes to that post and scratches furiously looking at me like but I'm a good boy. Dot, dot. Number 11, if he hears me on the phone with my sister it's automatically time for a walk. We usually chat when I take him out and he is now very aware of that. Also outside clothes and putting on makeup means I'm going out probably without him. If I take my backpack I won't be back until after work, he's happy that hasn't happened in a while. Twelfth. My cat drinks out of a glass on my nightstand rather than a bowl. A couple of years ago, she was having some pretty serious dental issues, all fixed now, and was being reluctant to eat and drink. She had always wanted to drink out of the water cup I had for myself, and at that point I just wanted her to drink anything, so I let her. That was my mistake and now she refuses to drink out of a bowl on the ground, and will only drink out of cups. She has a permanent cup on my nightstand, to this day. Oh well. At least it's easier for me to monitor her water intake. 13th. Stop heating your face. He has floppy jowls that sometimes get stuck in his teeth. I used to just casually say dude stop heating your face when it happened. On the occasions that he just happened to lick his teeth and spring it loose, I would give him a pat on the head and call him a good boy. Never any intentional training but now that he's an old man he's 100% responsive when I tell him. He'll clear his teeth out and present himself for his congratulatory head pats. She stayed doing that on her own. I stopped saying thank you a few times and now she won't stop yelling at me until she knows I'm okay. Sixteenth, I talk to myself constantly so my cat thinks it's normal to walk around making chatty noises all the time. If he's awake, he's talking. I think it's adorable but it drives my husband nuts, which has resulted in my husband yelling at him a lot. Don't worry. The cat doesn't get upset. Now the cat thinks that's just how my husband talks, so whenever he sees him he yells at him really loudly in order to imitate him. My husband will walk in the room and my cat will stop whatever he's doing and just meow so loudly right in his face. It's absolutely hilarious, dude got exactly what he deserved. 17th, when my dog was a puppy my dad used to give her the last bite of his breakfast sandwich every morning so she learned to sit next to whoever was at the head of the table eating at 8am every morning. 
Sadly my father passed from brain cancer a few years ago so I feel bad to see her sit there and wait for the sandwich that isn't coming. 18th, one time, my cat spotted a spider on my wall, since he was staring so obviously I was able to notice too. Grateful, I gave him treats and cuddles, he did it again a week later, same thing. Then one time he looks around frantically and I jump up to go check but I don't see a spider. He looks at me expectantly. After a few times like this I realized he learned that looking around intensely at stuff means treats, love and attention. It's now been 4 years and he will still look at me then pointedly look around the apartment, then back at me, expecting a reward. Has it resulted in him spotting the occasional bug? Still, even if I know it's all a lie, it throws me off and sometimes I give in and look anyway. Maybe I'm imagining it but he always looks so satisfied afterwards, the fluffy jerk. Number 19, my cat will open a tray to my Xbox when he thinks I've been playing too long, even if I just started. Number 20, the budgie had a broken leg in a little splint. He would climb to the roof of his cage with just his beak and good leg, then let go of his beak and hang by one leg then just stare at me. He knew I would stick my hand in and he could just fall off into my hand. He only did this when I was around because I was the only one who would stick my hand in. Number 21, one of my cats has a favorite toy that he brings me sometimes, and when he does I praise him for his catch. Now either I've trained him into thinking he has to bring it to me to receive affection or he's trained me into recognizing when it's okay to give him affection, or a little bit of both and it's just a little nice communication tool. Number 22, our dog puts himself to bed when we turn the Xbox off. Number 23, my kitten will aggressively headbutt my face every night before bed, for top of head kisses before she goes to sleep. Number 24, my tortoise stands on my foot when he is hungry. 26. Changing the sheets on the bed means playtime. My cat likes to sit on the bed as I throw on the sheets likes that rainbow parachute elementary game. She tries to attack my hand if I straighten the edges while she's there too. 27. Every time I open the veggies drawer in the fridge my guinea pigs begin to squeal with excitement, thinking it is food time even if I just fed them, lll. 28. Get wet food at 4 a.m. every day. I wake up early during the week and feed him wet food right away. Of course he doesn't care that it's the weekend. His internal alarm clock is down to minute with precision. And because he's a cat, and an asshole, if we don't get up and get his food, he howls loudly through the house, opens shutters, walks on our faces, nudges our noses with his nose, he's so relentless it's not even funny. But we love him. 29th. I used to work from home which included talking on the phone a lot. My dog would always bark when I was starting to talk to someone so I'd give her a treat to shut up, this turned into her following me around and barking any time I put my head a set on. I don't work for that company anymore, but I kept the headset on a shelf. Now when she wants treats she'll go over to it and bark at it and then look at me.